Shelley Leggett was there. Well, Doug and Shelley, it was a much different scene than last year, with many of the skiers that we spoke to today saying they took several trips to hit the slopes at Sandia Peak. It was an epic snow season at the Sandia Peak ski area with enough snowfall to allow them to stay open through the planned season. It was fun. I haven't been out in a couple of years, so it was acceptably good. After a successful ski season, skiers and snowboarders got one more go on the slopes at Sandia Peak. We didn't even know it was closing day and we got up here. I went to buy the tickets and they found out at the ticket counter that it was closing day. So we said, all right, let's just go. The mountain was 100% open. It was icy in the morning. Uh, it softened up in the afternoon, slushy on the left side, smooth powder on the right side. Unlike Sandia Peak, other areas are still open. Some resorts like Sipapu have even announced extended schedules for the 2018-2019 winter season. But skiers we spoke to here at Sandia agree with peak leaders and made the best of their last runs. Once last year was a super short season and in this year my daughter and I got three trips up here and it's like, why do the drive when you got the best ski in your own backyard here? There wasn't a lot of fresh snow and the ground was kind of showing through, so probably a good call to make it the last day. And if you're still looking for a chance to hit the slopes, Angel Fire is open until March 24th and Ski Santa Fe April 7th. Shelly Leggett, KWT Action 7 News. <laughs>